In this demo, we're now going to create a storage account via PowerShell. So let's head straight over to our PowerShell client. And let's begin. The first thing we need to do is make sure we have the right version of the Azure RM module available. You can check your current version by typing in get module space dash list available Azure RM. And once you hit enter, you'll see there module type script version 4.4.0. And you just need to make sure that you have version 3.6 or higher for you to be able to create storage accounts using PowerShell. The next thing we're going to need is our resource group, which we created already when we did it via the portal. So let's go ahead and do a get Azure RM resource group. And we can see there that we still have our resource group, sl-storage and the metadata being in North Central US. Let's go ahead now and store that resource group in a variable. So let's type dollar resource group name. equals SL storage. Hit enter. And now it's time for us to go ahead and create our new storage account. So use the following command to new dash Azure RM storage account. Then hit dash resource group name. You can start typing it in and it'll fill it in for you. The variable for resource group name. followed by the name of our storage account, so dash name. I'm going to use SL storage P shell here to identify it as a different one from the one we created in the UI. Now we need to define the location, so we'll use North Central US. Next we need the SKU, so this is where we choose the type of disk and the type of replication we want. So if you type in dash SKU name, and then follow that up and type in say standard and start tabbing through these. You can see you've got standard GRS, standard LRS, standard RA GRS, etc. And if you type premium in the beginning, it'll give you the LRS option, which is currently the only option for the premium disks. But if we go ahead and choose standard LRS there, and then finally choose the kind. In this case, we're going to use storage as opposed to blob. Go ahead and hit enter. And we'll fast forward here after a minute or so, you should see that complete. And in a little while, you'll get a screen like this to show that everything's completed and there's some details around the storage account itself. But let's now just go straight over to the Azure portal. And if we go over to our resource group, and do a refresh. In fact, we already see it there. So we've got SL storage P shell, select that one there. And we can see at the top that we've created a standard LRS storage GPV version one storage account in this case. And if we want to, we can use PowerShell also to upgrade that to version two. But let's just go over and select configuration from the settings panel on the left. And there you'll see immediately it shows the account kind as storage general purpose version one. And if we want to, this is another place we can simply hit upgrade. Go ahead and confirm the upgrade. And to do that, you need to type in the account name. So in this case, it's SL storage P shell. Select upgrade. And that will go ahead and upgrade your storage account. And you can now see it is set to version two. And with that, this concludes this demonstration.